Hey folks, welcome back. So this week we are picking back up again with the bridge. Our primer has been sitting on there for like the last, oh, about two days, a little less, day and a half or so. So the first thing we're gonna do this week is just to get a coat of paint on top of where we put the primer on those I-beams. So that can get setting up so that hopefully later this week we can get some boards on there. So with the painting done, at least for the time being, we are moving back up here into the mill house and we are going to do some work on our window frames here because we still haven't gotten our grooves cut into here that our panes of glass will set down into and that is kind of the next step that we got to do, get that done, then we can put them together. We'll sand them down, get them all smoothed up, get any uh, saw marks and stuff like that out of the wood, get them looking real nice, and then we can paint them and put the panes of glass in and then put them up. So, you know, just a couple more steps that definitely will be done by the end of the week, no problem. Alright, so we've done everything that we can kind of do with the table saw as far as cutting our grooves into our, our window frames here. And we haven't done all of it. As you can see, we kind of made a cut and then we still need to remove this kind of little inner piece right here. And all of that is going to be done with hand tools like the shoulder plane and chisels and stuff like that. And the reason is because not all of our cuts go all the way across. Like here, where the center piece meets up here, you don't want this this little notch coming all the way through here. You want it to stop, make it look a little bit nicer. And over on the side pieces, again, you want your, your groove to come just down into the corner and then you want it to stop before it hits where it meets up between here, you know, because you don't need the notch going all the way down. Again, it just it looks better. So from here on out, it's hand tools only to get these things finished up.
Alright, so today we are starting on putting some boards back on the bridge, starting to do a little bit of reassembly before we tear more boards back off. Now before we can do that, uh, a certain someone, not me, was using the loader I guess a day or two ago and they, uh, they were running up to the back of the farm to check on something and somehow they managed to uh, catch one of the hoses on the grapple forks here and it broke the connection on one side over here on the cylinder for the kind of the thumb and then the hose got wrapped around underneath the track and it broke the uh, the connection to where it hooks in over here as well so I went and got a new brand new hose here yesterday so we're gonna get that thing hooked up so we can use the forks to haul some stuff over to the bridge So I'm actually filming this bit right now, several days after what you just saw. Because I've gotten a little bit behind in filming sort of the explanation part of what's going on in the time lapses. So as I think I just said like a minute or two ago, the plan was to start putting deck boards on during this day. Now one thing that I knew is that the I-beams on the bridge are not exactly perpendicular to the abutments on either end. Now, I, this isn't really a problem in itself because you can just kind of make the deck boards to be perpendicular so they look good and then you would have one that would kind of be a little bit off of the abutment at the end and it would kind of cover everything up. It would look fine as long as you didn't look underneath the bridge. So I knew going into this that that was going to be a little bit weird to deal with. But what I didn't realize until after I started taking measurements was that the north end of the bridge is actually six or seven inches narrower than the south end. So at this point I had to figure out, you know, what is causing it to be so much wider at the one end than the other, you know, is it just one I-beam that's kind of tweaked out or are they all kind of going out? Are the inner ones parallel to the outer ones? You know, what's going on here? And after a whole lot of measuring, I kind of came to the conclusion that they're all kind of equally splaying out as you get to the other end of the bridge. So at this point, what I did is we had to find sort of the center line of the bridge. You know, what is the center point on the wide side and what is the center point on the narrow side? get a line marked down through there, and then get a perpendicular line off of that center line going through there. That way I would have a perpendicular mark going across the I-beams so that I could line those deck boards up along with that and hopefully have it look sort of the way it should. And that is about all that we managed to get done for that entire afternoon.
since we got our perpendicular lines done in the previous day, for this day we were able to start actually putting deck boards down. Now the first step with that is to put some boards that are running directly on top of the I-beams. Now these are actually treated boards and they are a super heavy duty treatment on there. They aren't your typical stuff that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot. We actually had these custom done at a uh, lumber treatment facility up in West Virginia. So these boards took a little bit of time to get on there because we needed to get them lined up, get holes drilled through them so that way we could get our bolts running down through those. On the outside, we're going to have some longer bolts that are gonna actually go down through the deck boards and then actually on top of the deck boards we'll have another board on top of there that's going to be kind of running parallel with the i-beams that way it kind of clamps all those deck boards down that makes sense now in the middle we aren't going to worry about clamping it down we're more concerned about keeping those ends tight so for the middle we are just putting some carriage bolts through those uh, first treated boards that go directly onto the I-beams. So it took a little while to get those in place, but once we got those in, the deck boards started going in pretty easily and pretty quickly. So now we are to the present day that I'm now filming this in, and for today, basically the only thing that we were trying to get done was to get those last, I think it was five more deck boards put down to kind of fill out those treated boards that we've got directly on the I-beams. Now I had some other stuff that I had to work on today, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to come out and work on it, and also my dad was a little bit short on time with helping me with getting some of those deck boards put down. So we just kinda worked on that, getting those last five boards down. And the next step is to kinda repeat what we already did in the first section there, which is to rip off the old boards from this next one third of the bridge. Now that step is going to wait until next week because I really want to try and get these window frames that I've been working on together. We aren't going to get them painted because I wasn't able to pick up paint when I went into town the other day. So, but I do want to at least get them together, get them nailed together and have them ready to go as far as getting paint on them. And in addition to that, it's supposed to rain over the next couple days or so. So it's not exactly going to be the best weather to be, you know, walking around on metal I-beams 10 feet over the water, you know, and stuff's going to be wet and slippery from that. <sighs> Alrighty, last day for this week, and like I probably said in the last little clip, we are working on the window frames here today. We got the top the middle and the bottom all grooved out and you can kind of see that in there maybe. Um, and then we started work on one of the side pieces that's maybe halfway done. And then we still have another side piece here to finish off this frame. And then of course we haven't even started on this frame that's underneath there yet. So we've got all that left to do. I don't think we're gonna get all this done but we'll at least knock as much of this out as we can today.
All right, well that is gonna wrap it up for this week. We didn't quite get this last one finished up. We got the bottom, the top, and one of the, I can't figure out which way I'm going here on the camera. And we got one of the sides done, this one over here. We started with the hardest, which are the tops and the bottoms because to get it to look real nice where the middle meets up, you kind of have to notch a little bit right here in the center for where that this the middle piece that comes in there that way it all meets up real nice so the top and the bottom are the hardest because you have to add in a couple extra notches there and then the sides are the next hardest and then the middle is the easiest because it just it goes all the way from end to end so you don't have to worry about notching anything into the ends there so i kind of started with the the hardest sides so we have one more side left and then that that center section and then we'll be done but that will have to wait until next week because i'm losing light in here i know the camera makes it look like it's still plenty light but it's getting kind of kind of dark in here and i'm having trouble seeing my marks and where i need to be cutting to so we're gonna have to call it a day. Now next week we'll be back to working on the bridge again. Uh, I think I may be having to make a run up to the feed mill, uh, get another ton of chicken feed and a little bit more pig feed and turkey feed because we got turkeys running right now as well. Uh, so I think I'm gonna be doing that next week. So that'll be taking up a day. So we may have a little bit of a, a shorter week next week, but we'll be back to working on the bridge again. Uh, we're at the point where we need to start ripping more boards off and then start working on those I-beams so that we can put more deck boards down. So we'll be back at that. And then also I would love to get this last frame finished up, get these two frames nailed together. And if I remember, I'll take my sample color in and I will try and get like a, a gallon or something of the green paint that we'll be using for these window frames. And that way, as soon as we get these window frames together, we can get them all painted up, get those window panes in there and get those hung in the openings here on the mill house. So this is gonna be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.